My 23M wife, 21F, haven't had sex in a year. So me and my wife have been together for two years now and she is still refusing to have sex with me. She has claimed to be mentally checked out for over six months now and I'm not sure what to do. We hardly ever get intimate we kiss for barely a millisecond and we hardly ever touch each other. Anymore I have been fighting this for a while now. And we did have a little girl last year but there's still not a reason for that except not being attracted to me anymore. It's a very difficult situation and I have been so patient but things are just really hard. What should I do? What does she mean by mentally checked out? Postpartum depression is a serious issue. Is she getting evaluated for anything like that? If she's saying she's mentally checked out then there's obviously a bigger problem. Stop focusing on trying to have sex and try to help her instead. The answer is very very clear. Having a kid last year is definitely a possible catalyst. Has she been assessed for PPD or PPA? How involved are you at home and with the baby? Does she get any time to be anything other than a mom? There's a lot of things you can look at just in your environment for reasons why you're not having sex but I would start with your relationship, her self-image, your participation in carrying the mental, physical load of your life and any potential resentment. She feels towards you with any of that. You aren't owed sex so look at why she isn't freely offering and initiating it. Having a baby changes a woman a lot. Women's bodies can take up to two years to recover especially with postpartum depression. The real problem here is she's having a hard time with everything and your biggest concern is sex. You need to ask her what's wrong and whether she wants this relationship to work or not. With no judgment. Do not bring up sex or she won't believe you care about her. Good luck. Not get married at 18. Are you helping around the house? Are you making dinner? Going grocery shopping? Giving her free time? Watching the kids for an entire day? Are you cleaning up after the kids? Not just the chores but the mental energy that goes into being a wife and mother. Who pays attention to the soap? Dishwasher pods? Toothpaste? Cleaning supplies? Who is doing the appointments? Who is helping the kids with schoolwork? My automatic assumption when I hear a woman is disconnected from her husband after having a child. It is generally because they are to the point where they are so exhausted and worn out that they start to resent their partner for not just helping. Some people need more than foreplay to get excited. Sometimes they need a clean house. Sometimes they need help with the kids or a break. Giving her mental and physical breaks will help a lot. Obviously this is a whole lot of assumptions, and the only best way to know is to ask your wife. Have you tried asking your wife what actions you could take that would help increase her happiness? Hi Op, I'm sorry to hear that you are having intimacy issues within your marriage. Have you tried telling her your concerns? Have you tried telling her that you love her and that you would like to take steps to make the marriage work so you can both be happy? I'm just not really able to get much from claiming to be mentally checked out. Do you think she might be feeling insecure or just overwhelmed? Sounds like you need to sit down and have an honest conversation with her about your concerns. Based on your comments, you really have no idea how your wife is feeling. You didn't even know she was in therapy. Do you know if she's struggling with depression? All you seem concerned with is that she's not giving you sex. And you don't even know why. The fact that you're considering leaving her over this is insane. Maybe put some effort into treating her like a human being. And understanding why she is checked out. Relationships take actual work if you want bonuses like sex. How much help do you give her around the house? How much responsibility do you take with your baby? Does she work? Or is she a psalm? Does she have time to herself? To relax or go out with friends? 
Do you go out and leave her at home? How old is your baby? I ask because it's entirely possible that she is overwhelmed with the baby. The house. Her job. Her everything. And if you aren't really helping with the load. She may well resent you for that. You post doesn't touch on any of that. Does she want to rekindle the relationship? You say she's working with a therapist. Which is good. But have you considered couples counseling to go along with that? I think you won. Need to consider postpartum depression and if you can rule that out then too. Respectfully give your wife some space and time apart. Have faith in her that she will come around. Don't give up on her yet. Do it for your little girl. It will be hard. But I think some space apart from each other would give her time to find herself. Figure out what is going on within herself. And to figure out what she wants. Unless she has mentioned that she is not attracted to you. Do not assume that. There could be a deeper underlying issue here and it may not even have to do with you. Best of luck mate. I know that ain't easy. Also. Please make sure your wife is not in a massive state of burnout. Being a mom. A new one at that. Is extremely exhausting. Please be sure she is getting rest. Time for herself. And time for fun. Another thought. If she was secretly seeing a therapist. I saw you say that in the comments. Then she clearly needs some space and has things she doesn't want to tell you. Don't assume it has to do with your relationship just yet. She could just be mentally struggling. She will come to you when she's ready. Give her the time and space she needs. That's your job as a husband. In sickness and in health. Am I right? So basically your wife admitted to struggling and here you are in your full glory mad about sex. Eyes. A woman's body. Mind and soul is wrecked during pregnancy and after childbirth. I didn't have sex for two years after I gave birth to my son. It was a combination of undiagnosed postpartum depression and the feeling that my insides were train wrecked and I shouldn't be sticking anything in there for a long time. I also had my son when I was 20. I'm 55 now. Looking back, had someone told me more about everything I needed to know, I would have done things differently. I would have sought out mental health services and I definitely would have considered having sex a whole lot sooner than I did. You're a very young couple. You've taken vows that should have included, until death do you part. That's one heck of a long time. With that said, knowing what I know, you should consider marriage counseling. Talk to her. Don't guess at why she's not having sex with you. Ask her and trust what she is telling you is true. If she is mentally checked out, find out why and see if you can get her to go to counseling or find a way to stimulate her mentally. Ask her what you can do to stimulate her mentally. Then have all the patience in the world. This is a woman that gave you a child and deserves everything you've got to give and some. Don't give up. And please remember that women do not have the same carnal sex drive that men do and when we're constantly bugged about having sex. We get to the point where even the slightest touch is off-putting because we know it could lead you to think sex is next. Try rubbing her feet or giving her a gentle back massage. Use that time wisely and talk to her. Don't go into it expecting to have sex. Once she sees that it's safe to let you touch her, she may relax a bit but you have to be consistent and know that you might have to take care of yourself without cheating on her until this is worked out. At age 21 I had never had an orgasm. It took being with an older, more experienced man and experimenting with masturbation for me to even learn what that was and how good it felt. Most women don't get off when they have sex. It takes clitoral stimulation and some actual effort for a lot of women. Not just penetration. I would bet a million dollars she isn't having an orgasm when she has sex and doesn't enjoy it. It's nothing against you. But when you take the time to focus on her and make her come, she will gladly start to be intimate with you. From your comments it sounds like your wife possibly has PPD. Is struggling. 
possibly seeing a therapist but you guys don't talk enough for you to know. You haven't tried talking to her about any of this. And it's hard to interpret in any way except that you don't care. What you do care about enough to ask for help from the internet is getting her to have sex with you. Ugh. That's why you don't get married at 21. I agree with what most others have said in relation to having a child and the mental and physical toll this can take. Although, it may not be PPD. It can take a long time to get your groove back after having a baby. Even though your daughter is now 1.5 years old it takes up a lot of mental space just to look after a child. Always thinking about what is coming next. She is probably just tired and would rather relax at nights. Also, if she is, was breastfeeding it can take much longer due to hormones etc. The hormones itself can make you drier than the Sahara Desert. Just try to help her out as much as you can and it will hopefully come around. We did have a little girl last year but there's still not a reason for that except not being attracted to me anymore. On the contrary, this gives many more reasons than if she hadn't given birth. Postpartum depression. Not feeling attractive after birth. Hormonal changes not leveling out still. Your own behavior towards her. Being exhausted. Dot the list goes on. If you're treating this as, well you had a kid but that's no excuse, and seem to be just expecting it, well it's no wonder as that package deal doesn't sound appealing. If she's also getting little time to herself, isn't particularly supported to undertake childcare and house responsibilities either then again, she won't be feeling like it and nobody can blame her. Have you actually tried to talk with her at all? Ask if she needs support? help time to herself so she can pamper herself and just take a day or two off do you do any kind of date activities or anything on a regular basis this doesn't sound like a you problem unless you are the problem because you've done very little to get to the bottom of this it's a very difficult situation and i have been so patient but things are just really hard and how do you think your wife may feel from her perspective, think about this. She's been through a wonderful but traumatic experience with childbirth and for all we know. As all this is missing, doing 100% of the housework and childcare you'll find very few people capable of doing that and then feeling up for getting frisky after. You were too young to fundamentally know who your partner is. This could be postpartum depression. I recommend doing as much research about it. Woman can respond in this way. Encourage her to get evaluated and take it day by day. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.